one study guide, concept one, problems 12, 13, 14, and 15. So now we've got some fractions that we're working with. So on number 12, we're adding two-thirds and one-half. When you're adding or subtracting fractions, you have to get a common denominator. So I look at the least common denominator, the smallest number that both 3 and 2 will divide into, which will be 6. Whatever I multiply my denominator by to get that common denominator, that's what I need to multiply. That works. So, 3 times 2, so I take 2 times 2, which is 4. 2 times 3, so I take 1 times 3, which is 3. So 2 thirds is the equivalent of 4 sixths. Notice how both denominator and numerator increase. 1 half is the same as 3 sixths. Now that my denominators are the same, I can add. So 4 sixths plus uh, 3 sixths is 7 sixths. And in number 1, we can just leave numbers as improper fractions. We'll just make sure that um, we don't need to reduce them to lowest terms. So I just look for a common factor between my numerator and denominator and so number 13 we're taking 15 sixteenths and we're dividing by 3 but we can think of this as 3 over 1 and when you divide fractions it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of the second fraction so I'll just change that. Then I just multiply numerators together. So 15 times 1 is 15 and denominators together. 16 times 3 is 48. Now I look for a common factor and